Okay, here we are for the finals. Uh, not the finals, this is top four of the limited sealed event for November. I've got the uh, Hannibal Flabbergast. Uh, let's see, we can do voice. Okay. Good luck, have fun. Good luck and have fun. It all right, let me roll a d20. Okay. All right, I got a 15 you versus 12. Guess. I will take first. All right, let's see what we got. We got a quest into like two drop armor, two drop creature. There's nothing amazing here. I will keep this hand. I mean, we have a two drop, we have an elusive three drop. Uh, thinking for a second. So we have the same three drop twice. We have a soul fire in case he pumps up something big. But if he plays the turtle, I don't have a whole lot I can do to that at the moment. I think on this board, I want to put the vestments face down. Just pass for the first turn and then untap and maybe make a two drop. Yeah, I like this. This hand has some cheap stuff, so that seems good enough to, to keep it for now. I will keep. Right. I'm going to keep this for my journey trigger for now. Pass back. Okay. Um. Hmm. So we've got all these three drops. This quest I'd really like to save to play on turn four to trigger this guy to try and get some kind of value. Maybe what we need this game. Um. Thinking. I'm going to keep the soul fire around for a while. I know he's got. Uh, hmm. He's got the three drop spawn of Mag Magira uh, or something like that. Then go. Okay. Looks like we're just going to place one of these three drops face down. This guy seems worse on this board. I just think three threes are going to be better than a two four. Seems about right. Although I have two of them, I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like that big of a decision. I'd rather have the second three three. It just feels like. Let's play a guy. We'll play a guy and pass. Okay. So if he plays a guy here, I'm happy to mm -hmm. probably just trade it off, make a 3-3. Three, three. Try to keep this board open so that I have a nice hero flip onto his best thing for value here. And then we've got a soul fire for later usage. Next turn might just be face down one of these protectors, play a 3-1. Turn after that, got to set up journey trigger. Maybe we can get some more journeys going later on. He kind of misses a journey trigger here. He just plays something face down. So he's okay. definitely planning yeah. to journey up. Ah, oh, that's gonna slow me down, isn't it? Well, we've got our five drop. <laughs> hmm, well, this is a... This definitely slows us down a bit. So we can pay one to attack into it our guy has one health left, and then it has, uh, it'll only have one health left, even if he pumps it up to a 2-1. There's a card or two that does work very well against me in that set of circumstances. Hmm, I do basically skip my turn here. If we play a 3-3 three, three face down, just play a 3-1 up. And then what are we doing for turn four? Probably playing this, attacking, and then playing a three drop as our turn four, then we can follow up with this guy next turn. Yeah, I think I like that. We'll play one of these face down, just play my elusive guy and pass. Mm. We'll pass back. 
Yeah, this guy's a bit of a, an issue. He doesn't know that we only have one journey, uh, one way to trigger journey. Okay. Um... He's specifically bad against the opponent's uh, like a aura of bravery thing that gives him like where he reflects one damage back, and the elusive kind of loses its value. If we can get one or two long range trades off this, I think we're in a good state. We had to skip a few damage there and didn't get to trade into his guy. And this one to trigger justice and buff her. You got it. And then I'll play Bravery. Oh, there it is. That's that's what we were a little worried about. And attack you for three. Four. Take it. And your turn. <laughs> All right, so now we get to play what is worth fighting for, get in for three, trade this guy. And then we have two mana left that we can maybe leave up for Z. I mean, is this card going to be better than a 3-3? Three, three? Uh, I'm not sure, but at least it gives us a way to double spell. Then we have a 2-2 two, two on the board. I really like the tempo there. And then we get to open up with our probably our hero flip next game. Or no, either that or the 5-5 five, five next turn. So yeah, we trigger journey here. Bang for three. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay. Uh, let's trigger journey and swing in against your guy. Mm, okay. We'll trade off here. Yeah. Yeah, and just leave up Z. I think that's that's a fine play. Sure, we could have soul fired that thing, but we don't think we really need to. Yeah. Pass back. Okay. Draw. This guy's a lot worse <laughs> now that he has the aura mm. of bravery that we were somewhat afraid of. It just makes all his creatures bigger for the rest of the game. We know he's got some scary... He's got some more spell shield stuff. I don't think this finds the spell shield, but it does find his bigger cards. So we got to hope we can get ahead with our 8-8 eight, eight here. Hey, Ook, with the banana ring. Ping the board. Oh, well. And attack you for one. We got some value out of it. Do I, do I want to Z... Did I want to Z that? <coughs> to not take one. I don't know that I even want this card now. He just comes in as a 1-1. One, one. It's really not very threatening. I think I'd rather just have him as a resource. I'm starting to value the trick more. Don't know that I'll be able to play a 3 and a 3, but that's so much more value playing 3 and 3, especially with this guy who's only a 3 drop in play. Yeah, let's remove the trick for now. Just play my my huge guy. Make my opponent start nice. dealing with that. Pass back. Yep, he's an 8-8, eight, eight, and my opponent can just tap three things and exhaust my guy, and then he can eventually flip his hero to set up a nice turn of events there. And I will certainly be using this to trade into my opponent's allies before I go for face. There's no reason to do that at this at this board state. Especially if I'm taking one back on the chunk for no reason. I'd like to get a nice two or three for one out of this and hope that I can build. Well, we've got a couple. With this We can turn this into a 4-4. Four, four, so we can have a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, we can soul fire if he triggers on something. Just to gain our board advantage back. We have Soul Fire plus Hero Flip, so... Hey, her. Other allies have Shadow <laughs> Resistance. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'll uh, exhaust the three. Hmm. Spawn not looking great this game. We can pay four to flip this turn. I still don't want to play this. 
we can flip to just eat this 5-4. He's got other things in there that are way better, but I think I just want to do some work to clear his board up a little here. That or I can pay 3. Just make a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. That's probably the best thing to do. Play this face down. I'll have a 4-4 four, four and a 3-3. Three, three. He can eat the 3-3 three, three with this one. Hmm, that board may not work out very well. As opposed to me just going pay 4, eat something... And do nothing with my two mana? That seems a lot worse. I kind of like making... I get to choose the trades here since I have the protectors. So we'll play this three drop. And he doesn't trigger himself, I think. Uh, I don't think so, no. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll play this three drop. We'll trigger Okay. Here. But he triggered Uh, that's all I can do. Now we'll pass back. Okay. Uh... Almost played that little inner piece panda earlier, which is a card that punishes my opponent like just doing nothing and tapping his board. But all it did was do one damage to my hero, then my opponent might have probably just threw his 3-3 three, three into my 1-1 one, one or 2-2. Two, two. I guess it would have been a 2-2 two, two by the time he could hit it. So that would have worked out perfectly for him. Now he would have had to choose between trading or me hitting something for eight. So maybe that was a good idea to rush him into that. But now I've got the four four three three. So he's got a pretty easy couple decisions here. He could just this guy's a three four. So I guess he doesn't want to trade into the four four. He really just he he has the ability to trade trade or. Oh, he's a 4-4 four, four because of the assault. That's right. So this could just kill my 4 guy. Yeah, this kills my 3. About this one. Yeah, these are important decisions for my opponent. It'd be nice if I could find an opportunity to complete my quest when my opponent is completely exhausted and cannot play this. We've given my opponent some options here, so we need to be prepared to make our trades. So if they trade, if they attack... I was saying, uh... I think I want to take my 4-4. My four, she four. attacks uh, Chain Healer. Thinking. All right, so she's attacking the healer. So then I'll just block and trade. I'll, I'll protect. Okay. okay, we get the trade. Now we have a 3-3 three, three versus 4-3. Uh, then this one attacks the Chain Healer. Okay. And I'll go face. It looks like he's just going to hold up his hero flip for a little while. Then I play her. Oh, he has the removal spell. Kill the Taskmaster. Dang. Uh, he had it. Okay. Go. <laughs> and my opponent can still quest, so I don't think I want to do my quest. I think I'm just going to play a... We'll play the monkey, shoot you or hero for four. Pass. Now we still have a hero flip and a soul fire. This might be able to draw one later in the game. Now we both have a flip. My opponent has draw two in play. We have draw two. We have a four four on the board. He's got a soul one. All his guys are bigger forever. So he's got a better... Current setup here, especially if he goes. Quest. Okay. Pop five. He's got another one of these in the deck, which helps kill my other eight eight. No, no, no. Oh, he got the okay. very hard to no kill protector. Is. Who's going to be a two three? And then I'll uh, play him straight away. I guess I can just remove it. And I attack you for one. And go. Okay, we'll draw for turn. <coughs> Alright, we just get to play a 5-5 five five here. I think I'm just going to stay back. I don't want to deal one to myself, and I don't... I guess I could just hit him for one. 
although he hits me back for two, then I'll die on the crack back too. There's a number of things. He's not particularly scary. He's going to do, let's see, two damage multiple times. So if I flip, then I just do nothing else this turn. I think I'd rather just play a 5-5. Five five and save the flip for a high tempo play. I'm just going to not attack. I don't want to take any damage on anything. Pass. Mm, okay. Yeah, I don't have any demon allies. He's a little suspect in this deck. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't belong, but he's okay on this board state. I've got six resources, so I'm, I'm good for now. I don't have a whole lot else. My opponent's got more permanents that do more things. Three cards in hand to our removal spell, removal spell. But this removal spell starts to really function as one, especially with this guy. It's going to take three hits no matter what. So we can still flip next turn if we, you know, if we think that's the correct play. But he's got a lot of decent sized allies in that deck. And one more of these. We've got a kill rock and some other guys. Next turn might be a good time to... No one attacks uh, Duke. And I'll go face. Okay, what do we got here? I also have to consider okay, this one. keeping allies up. Okay. And uh, Xaria. And he shoots. Oh my gosh. Duke and heals Glowin. Just a bunch of rares. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Alright, so my opponent just plays bombs, and none of these bombs work against Soulfire. Boy, not a one drop you want to see on this board. One, two, three, four. So we have a five, five. <coughs> we can pay four to flip. Kill this thing. I don't know how big it is right now. It's a, it's a three, three, four, four, five, five. So it's a huge five, five. So we can just pay for flip, kill that thing, attack, eat your zero, then th this can... Oh, it still kills me on the crackback. How annoying. Maybe I should have flipped on it. I'm not sure. I think I have to flip this turn, though. This is a good turn to quest, though, since my opponent can't complete his. But I've got to recover on this board. Let's see. We, we I can't trade my creature for one of his at the moment. I'm going to have to flip, kill this thing eat this afterwards we have two health left this trades into it uh, still has two more health but then he has not a whole lot left at least and then we have a we'll have a one two protector boy I don't that'll just die to something too right if I play a one two protector he kills it immediately but maybe it's better than him Killing my, uh, let's see, what what will this be? A, he'll take three, so he'll be a 5-2. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm going to play the cards I have. All right, let's flip our hero on the purple guy. Uh, okay. Uh, it's removed, right? Not destroyed. Yeah, it's exiled. Mm, okay. okay, well, I have a 1-2. At least we get to pink a damage onto here. And we can save our 5-3. Uh, our oh, he's a 5-2, actually. Save our 5-2. And if our opponent does play a creature into journey... No one attacks the panda. All right, well, we saved our guy for a turn. I go face. Okay, we're 
paying three. I pay the assassin and your turn. <coughs> Ollie. Ollie's interesting. We can pay four, play Ollie. Attack my opponent's hero. Now, if we take Aura of Bravery, what does that give us? Interesting. So I can attack Glohin. Oh no, we can play Ollie. Take the aura. What does it say? Ready target archipelago ability. You control that ability while you control this ally. All right, it's not an attachment. So uh, thinking. So we pay four. Play Ollie or Oli, whatever. Oli oil. Take this card, and then all of our guys gain assault one. My hero gains Assault 1, so I can run into this guy, take 1, pink him down for 1. Then rush him into here, he doesn't die. Ah, uh, yeah, that gives me some options. Then my opponent has to trade into Ollie, then also kills this guy in the trade back. But at least uh, I get rid of Glohin at that point. It gives my opponent the... Big immediate two for one, but I've I've got to do something on this board. So it's pay four, take Ollie, take this uh, hero attack, kill him, and then use him to trade into Glowin. That or I could hit six, heal six, which might be a big deal. But uh, otherwise, if I if I do that, then he gets to just take him, run him into Ollie, kill him as well, and then he still has a creature. Yeah, we got to play to the board here. We'll, we'll play Ollie. All right, we're going to take Aura of Bravery. Oh, okay. I'll hit Glowin for one. And pass. And we'll pass. Nice one. All right, Ollie got me a two for one there. Now he gets his simple two for one back, but this this card's pretty nuts. I think it's just bang trade here. <laughs> get get the two for one. You got he it. Attacks uh, the mage. You got it. And destroys the other one. So he still has his hero flip. We have a draw two quest. But mine takes my whole turn. And this one I get back, right? Yep. The ability. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, attack. And let's play this one. Go. Not a very good soul fire target, is it? <laughs> Now, if I pay five, I could draw a two drop right now. What kind of two drop would I play? I think there's one or two I might play. I get that I give my opponent an extra mana, but I think the, the high side is much better. Let's quest. Okay. I'll solve mine too. All right, we have two counters cards now. I think I'll go ahead and do Buried Secrets and I'll just pick that quest back up. We'll pass. Okay. Rough turn. <laughs> and... <clears throat> attack for four. Exhaust your hero. And attack for one. Yeah, I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> I have all this card draw now. But... Just taking too much damage. This card's done like hey, 10 turtle. damage. Oh, hey. Um, there it is. Buff the curtain. I'll quest into turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
mine, or mine turns out. Boy, these cards are not very good on this board state. <laughs> two spell shield guys versus my conflagrate. Really don't want that. I, this two drop doesn't target. This guy doesn't target. This guy doesn't target. <laughs> well, you hate to see that card printed over and over again. But they found his way into his deck, so we gotta we gotta deal with it. So we have three dead abilities in a row. I guess we just bottom all of them. I mean, they're all bad here. I have nine health. Taking four, then he swings for three, four, five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm dead. I'm already dead. So all these cards need to be bottomed. You got it. So bottom that, bottom that, bottom that. I guess we look for a protector or something. Well, there's definitely some protectors under one here. So maybe that's what I have to do is play a 3-3 protector. Rather than my quest, I think that makes sense. I have another quest already. Guy doesn't target. It's probably got to be either Korkron just to give me some heals, or the 2-4 because he might be able to block and, and bounce off once or twice, which might be more valuable than the heals. It's it's an odd play. I don't know if that's correct, but just the chance that I get to brick two attacks might be the best here. Okay, I'll pick up that resource. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this card target. So I just drew three pieces of targeted removal versus the double spell shield board. Doesn't seem very good. Well, we play a removal spell. Uh, I mean, we play a protector. Mm. Uh, and, uh, these cards don't do anything. We can flash this guy in, I guess. Pass. This is uh, a little sad. These awesome removal spells. And this soul fire, I can't believe it's been sitting in my hand all game. I guess I should have used it on the on the spirit on the on the frost weaver maybe. All right, well. And I'll... solve this quest for two. You got it. Attack your hero for five and exhaust the protector. Oh, I don't even get to play. That's right. Oh, you got me. <laughs> yes. All right, let's go game two. Right. Got oh. me. Okay, I'm here. Nice. All right, I'll go first since I lost. Yeah. All right, looks like a ship. We've got no rares, no bombs, no quests. Uh, yeah, not even a curve, so it's instant mulligan. Mulligan? I'll keep the hand. Okay, we got double quest into two drop if we want, into three drop. No, that's what we have. Pass. Oh, turn one quest. We don't have that many journey cards, so I am just going to run that one out here for now. <clears throat> Play Pursuit, and go. I don't necessarily feel like I'm in a hurry. I think I'd prefer to wait and get the 2-2 and the 4-4. Four, four. It's just a lot, a lot more going on if we go at that pace. I'm doing nothing this turn, but that's okay. Although it means my opponent can play a no, it's okay. We're we're already gonna pass back. Okay. I don't really want to just get a two two and then later get another two two. I'd rather um, get a four mana value if I'm gonna take four mana worth of spell out. Like I don't have another two drop to play while I'm flashing this back, and my quests are too expensive to double spell with another two two. Anyway. So. All right. Go. We're gonna not complete this. 
good. Now we have a one drop. Who's going to be big? Hmm. Now that's a consideration. And we have a three drop. I think I'm just going to go play the three drop. But this would give us a three two. That gives us a three two. And a two two. We're kind of punished suddenly. <laughs> oh well. Uh, we've got the soul fire to answer whatever he plays. So maybe we just want to smash tempo here. That or we play a three drop three four. And we got to resource something here. I can play a 3-drop three 3-4. Three, Maybe I just want to get as many guys onto the board as I can in case he plays a spell shield thing, makes it real big. So we just flood the board with stuff. Let's do the, the tank for a second. So for this turn, we're either playing a 3-4 or a 3-2 and a 2-2. Two, two. That'll trade into anything, and then we get to untap into turn 4 monkey, which is not, you know, not, not the best 4-drop in the world, but it's there. Man, Ritual is so much better, though, as a 4-drop. I think I'll just play the Elemental Pet thing. Face down the monkey. I don't know how good he's going to be. I can get a double spell off with this, and it's going to be good with the Shadow Guys in play. Pass back. So he's going to play a big 3-drop here. It might be the Spell Shield guy. Although I guess he can't journey it. He's saving his journey counters for... It's got to be like the turtle again. So I just got to build a board state out that can deal with all his uninteractive creatures. And then, mm. then I can try to beat him with some big stuff and see if he draws the right removal spells or if I can clock in for eight a few times. Uh, I should rock him pretty well with the 4-4 four, four, and 2-2 two, two next turn. Because he can't really trigger Journey and play a guy unless he's going to play a 2-drop. Go on. Oh no, this is like a nightmare suddenly. Or a weapon. Gonna play the quest, buff him again. And go. I think I just eat that with my hero. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, although we have the soul fire. Seems, seems fine. Throwing away all these journey triggers, but all I have is on. I only have one creature to trigger those on. So I think we'll go. Just land, pay four. No, no, I think I want to save my flip. We'll pay two to Soul Fire, and then maybe play this Corcron Reaver. I like that play. Yeah. Soul Fire this, he's gone. <coughs> Get in for three. Have a Reaver left over. Yeah, that sounds good. Just making sure I read it right. Yep. All right. Let's kill the remove the glowin from the game. Oh damn it! Yeah. That worked out real well for me. He. This is a path I might be able to win off of. Uh, and then we'll just play a one drop here. Attack for three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now he's gonna have to sit over there questing and stuff, and we're gonna have. Six power in play, plus another six off of this. So we're just taking over the board completely this turn. Even if he does play a turtle, we should be able to kind of maneuver around that between having all these stuff, all these threats in play, plus our uh, tempo removal guy and our hero flip. Gives us a lot of options for being on the play. Okay, that I is drop. Great. Gets a buff. I can remove that with my hero power as well. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, One down. Hmm. Don't know that I care about this 3-3 three, three too much. It is probably better to just play my other quests out at this point in the game. It's turn 5, so I can just... Flip my hero, attack him for five. That way we get some value of our hero flip while we can. <laughs> Stay ahead on the board. Uh, and then after that we can either make some 2-2s, two a 2-2-4-4 two -two four -four combo, or maybe quest perhaps. So we, we've got some options here. 
Yeah, I think we quest. Excuse me, I think we... I just like using the hero power while we can. Since th these guys line up pretty poorly against a 4-4. Four -four. So yeah, flip, and then... I guess do nothing. Okay, let's flip our hero. Yeah. Get him for five. Five. Mm -hmm. That guy would have ended up eating one of these. And he may have even made it bigger by playing something else. So the other one may have not actually been able to trade it because it was a 4-4. Was a four -four. Then he might be able to go journey, play something. Now it's a 6-6 six -six and it's going to eat more than what's here. Tempo is the name of the game here. Game four, your hero. All his guys Lots are getting him. pumped. So I did keep in some of my counters removal. Yeah, I got the soul fire. So if I can get the horde guy yeah. later, no mana to spend here. <coughs> so he's got a four five. Now we can play our eight eight. Uh, we can play this thing. Get in for four, and then just finish it. Hit him for three. That seems fine. And then the next turn, we can either make an 8-8 or just kind of go from there. So we're just paying 6 to eat most of this guy. Trade away this little dude. Because he is a 4-5. As opposed to, what, paying 1, 2, 3, 4, and then doing nothing with the rest of that mana. Yeah, I think we just make this protector into a resource. Keep all my good stuff. See if he likes it. Yep. Straight there. Yep. yep. Here row for three. Yep. Pass back. Okay. Now we okay. keep control of the board. We're mm. really threatening his life total at this point, and he can hero flip against this little this guy. You know, four sevens. Gonna get the two for one. I'm looking they for. Are. And then buffer. Two times. Ooh, she's a seven there six, just slightly out of range. Hmm. What I'll do is try to attack his hero, and then when he taps, I'll Valdemar in when she exhausts. That was a really hot draw there. Uh, let's just attack the hero here. Uh, I'll take that. Three more of the hero? Yeah. All right, so I'll leave up those three. Maybe I can complete Endless Swarm. I could do that now. I'm going to complete this quest now. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I think I bottomed him or something. Where? Oh, no, he's in my hand. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
So I could play him face down as my resource, and then it still gives me three. I could ritual just to make a 2-2, get it in play. It's a lot better than it sitting in my hand for the rest of the game. I think I like that. I could have done that earlier, so it looks like it's costing me a little bit, but I'd rather have that at this point in the game. I'm going to take two, make a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Put it in my graveyard, and I don't think I want to cast it back. Pass back. Yeah, we've got a Valdemar, his ally, when he goes to attack. If he doesn't, then I've got... Pretty threatening board state with a lot of card draw here. And if I ever play this 8-8 eight, eight out, he basically just has to find a removal spell off of it, which is very easy to do with these quests, but it's very mana intensive. So I'm looking to just blow him out completely with this guy. Leave him on a, a board state that's going to be hard to recover from. I could have just played, I think I had a turn earlier to play this as a 2-2, two -two and I chose not to, and I think it would have... Like this one? Yeah, kind of a blowout card. Play the quest. Solve it. You got it. Yeah, it's going to be a rough one for my opponent. So, uh, he's got to play like the turtle. You're welcome. He didn't have the turtle. Okay. Hmm. Take it. Take it. Take it. Pass. And if you turn, Art of War. Just going to continue to flood the board out. He has three health. We have Conflagrate in our deck. So he has to pick an Alliance or Horde uh, card. I think he missed completely. Not, not a good one. Well, the monster showed up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wrong time. Turn. Which is classic WoW for you. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, yeah, this is a rough game for my opponent, so he's being a good sport. Yeah, that's game. All right. No GG way to then. get out here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Checking the board here. Forgotten Treachery is the five mana spell, but I think versus his deck, he always has some something around that he would rather sacrifice. What's up, cat? Well, that worked out. I don't know that my big expensive equipment's any good in this <clears throat> matchup. Oh, well, I think I'm just going to I'm just going to run this. I got the ones I needed. These are often too slow. Unless the board's at the state where you can just throw him in, but then your opponent can just play around it. He's got the spell shield too, so it's eh. I like what I had. Okay. Uh, I got it. Okay. Good luck, have fun for game number three. You too, you too. You going first? Uh, yeah. All right, it's one and one. And I'll keep the hand. I like my hand. I get to go turn two kill rook, turn three evasive guy. Don't I think this guy might be a resource. This guy's probably a resource. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. I will keep my hand. Good luck. Good luck. Best. <laughs> and panda. Uh oh, an inner piece panda and immediately. Turn. Yeah. 
All right, let's play this face down. I, I think this is just going to... Is it too early to make that call? This is my turn to play. Yeah, this guy's just not going to... He's not going to see any action this game. Pass. So it's going to be a 2-2. Two, two. It's going to make it a 3-3, three, three, so it's already bigger than my kill rock. That's, that's rough. This thing is, like, already insane looking. And a Frost Weaver. Pass. Oh, gosh. His board looks very scary. Is this card going to be better than Thrall? Hmm. Random protector that might bounce things. Ah. I don't know if Ollie's going to have any targets, plus he dies easily. I don't have the con flag to combo with him, which doesn't feel like it's the card we want this matchup. Pass back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drop. He's, he's here. He's All right, ready. This one Drumbo. drop panda is in a huge issue mm -hmm. already. I may have to remove it, but he's got a... This is a nice curve. Kill Ruck on defense, not not quite so powerful, but having to pay one to... Let's see, this guy will be a three... Yeah, he'll be a 4-4, four, four, so he'll be a one-mana 4-4 four, four play. So I'll just play my evasive guy. Next turn, trigger him, and then I can play a three-drop with him. That's my turn four, and then I can... Or turn four, I can flip, but if I'm doing that, then I'm not paying for attacking, so that's something I need to consider here. I need him gone. I can throw Kill Rock and this guy at him and then complete Endless Swarm as a quest. But I kind of have a lot of my monsters here. One, two, three, four. I'll attack you for four. Then I'll take Zarin. Oh, man. Go kill. All Go right. Kill this is a strong curve here. This is going to be a rough game. Oh, this kills my elusive guy. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this card. Uh. I don't know what I do in this board. Um, everything needs to be removed with my hero power. I can't play this. It just dies immediately. I could, I could play the Thrall out now, now that I just have, I guess, quests to do. Maybe just play the Thrall. See how the board ends up from there. It'll just die, right? I don't know. I don't know. I can't just do nothing. This is horrendous. Um, his good cards beat my one rare. We'll see what we can do if, if these will get there, but he's got a hero mm. flip that can just turn that off. I have to pay to do everything. Uh, I get one removal spell next turn, so this will just continue to nuke my board. This card's going to be... I mean, he can just stop attacking right now and just make it a 5-5 five, five and a 6-6. Six, six. I don't even know if you attack that turn. I don't know why he attacked. I would not have attacked. I would have made this guy bigger. Maybe he's afraid of my removal spells that, that plink off counters. That's fair. I just have a bunch of 5-5s. Five fives. So if I can recover and get to big land... Akiro. I will protect. Okay. Uh, actually, I am going to not protect this guy. Okay, yeah. And uh quest. Alright, pay four. Is it the turtle? No. Ally. Thank you. Okay. My opponent has successfully <laughs> curved out. <laughs> and my elusive guy has disappeared from his chance to really make it happen. 
Well, this is probably flip turn. Looks like we just played resource. Flip our hero. Maybe this guy's a resource. I don't know if I need this many. Five. Maybe this is my resource. I mean, it's just random 5-5. Five, five. I mean, we're going to get there. This is turn four where I need to remove something. This guy's huge. Uh, the 4-4, four, four, the 5-4, the 2-3 that shoots my stuff. Um, he's going to make kill work bad for the rest of the game. Although this makes... I can't really do anything while trying to play allies. So I'm going to have to play my 8-8s eight out and then see if I can pick up the pace here. And get a couple trades off and just drop fatties for the rest of the game. All right, gonna have a big turn here. Um, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Uh, if we, I don't know, quest, then we hero flip, remove this five four, then we have a two four that can't attack, and I pretty much don't want to block because then he can just kill it if I don't trigger the block correctly. But I've, maybe I just removed the biggest, hugest threat here. This guy can stop and start getting bigger. <laughs> Go ahead and flip our hero. We'll kill the Klaxi. Okay. Yeah. Um. No, sorry. Remove. Pass back. Nice. Mm. Trying to set up a play where my kill work is alive and I get to kill his zero. That would be a huge swing for this game. I'm getting overrun right now. So maybe these 8 8s can help lock it up, but they're pretty Back slow. Your hero? Four. Hero. I'm getting into dangerously low life total territory at this point, but maybe this is what I have to do to to get lucky and recover. Um, thinking, so if I if I block and get lucky, then then we're at a nice spot this game. Otherwise, this guy dies, and then I still have to kill Rock into it next turn. Um, so I'll just take some damage. It's going to be four damage, right? Yeah, we'll take four. Ouch, it leaves me at six. Just so I have to get lucky at some point, so that's what I have to go try to do here. We will protect against zero. Try to get lucky here. Okay. Uh, both flip top, right? Yeah. Yeah, we both flip top. Okay. Uh, he dodges, huh? Looks like yeah. he dodges this time. Okay, we got lucky. And hmm. this is going to come okay. into play and make it a nightmare for my big guys. Uh, uh, she attacks for one. Okay, I, I like being at that life total much better. And he still gets nice. to shoot something for two. I just got rid of my one face stone. only fire card to make this cheaper. All right. Well, we built this deck with expensive stuff, so we need to see if chain expensive stuff is going to be enough to get us there. Especially into my opponent's hero flip, which we have to and pay I to attack. Play this one. And... Play her. Oh no, he he had a double and, and spell. Her, he had the double kills, spell. What uh, are the chances? Uh, that's, okay, you got it. Oh, uh, well, we needed that to not happen. You got past turn. All right. Well, I think we're we're probably out of tournament now. Uh, my opponent had like a just perfect curve into double oh, no, spell. You, you can pass it back. Huh? <laughs> my bad. Oh, uh, whatever. Okay, well, we got nothing here. We play a guy, 
can't attack, can't really do anything here. So eh, that's my opponent got me. Yeah, perfect curve. Perfect curve will do that. Perfect curve into the guy that kills my elusive tool. That was like my kind of my hedge for the game plan, but it didn't work out, did it? I'm just super dead now. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Bummer. Well, I'm out. I don't think it matters now. Um, yeah, I mean, my none of my cards do anything. Oh, well, let's make him win it. Let's put a card in play and I guess just make an 8-8. Pass back. Okay. Yeah, a lot of the cards in this deck lined up very well, like the two of these. Um, plus, you know, they peak. Farting Out Raiders is pretty good. Attack face and exhaust your protector. All right, we'll just make him kill me. Attack face for one and for three. Uh, so, uh, so I think we got game, right? Yeah. Yeah, man, it's game. Just making sure you see the lines. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep. GG's, man. Got me. That was a nice curve. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This this curve was nasty. Yep. Oh. Didn't think I would uh, win against you after our last game. Or in, uh, in, the, um, in the Swiss rounds. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure that I want to <laughs> play more top eights of, you know, a limited deck, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, man, you didn't even do, like, spell shield broken stuff. You just kind of played guys, and I fell behind. Yeah, yeah. The Zeril yeah. was uh, very punishing. I had this for turn three, and I'd saved my quests in my hand, and you just, you know, play, uh, play your rare that kills him every turn, so you got me. Yeah, yeah. I got no value thought, from the kill rock. Yeah. After and, the second game, I thought uh, I had to take the hand with the curve without the uh, without the buffs because that really hurt. You were moving my uh, buffed guys for two mana. Yeah, this game I I had a plan, and it was for you to not have exactly double spell with no cards left in hand with perfect mana on board, and that's what you did. Killed my rock, and it just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the frost apart. weaver on turn two. That is, that card is. Uh, Pretty really ridiculous and limited. You just, work. you just can't yes. play the game. Yeah. I think, yeah, she was the reason I th I guess that I won the first game. You you having to spend two mana on turn four to remove her just uh, breaks the back of the of your tempo. Yeah, it's, it's an odd card for limited. Like, being a 1-4 that you just... They have to basically waste an entire turn and yeah, use yeah, their three exactly. or four drop. All good, though. I had fun limited turn it, man. Good luck in the best of years. Yes. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks. Have a nice rest of the day, then. <laughs> you too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.